All righty, folks. Video number one, we talked about interest rates going sub six. We talked about my greatest fear of what happens if they go to five, five. And I, I fear it may already be happening. We've got the one and only Matt, the mortgage guy, which is inter, which is interacting with dozens and dozens of buyers and agents every week. He can tell us what's going on the ground. Matt, tell me what market you're closest to and then tell us what is actually going on deal by deal because it's shocking. It is. It is pretty wild. Here we sit on a Wednesday and all the offers that went out over the weekend, contacted the list side, had great conversations. Monday, Tuesday was follow up. Um, a lot of disappointing emails coming back to us. And um, Sacramento, California, home of the Pacific Division champion, Sacramento Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. It's been a while. We got yeah, we, you, we, Enjoy it. Enjoy it. We got to bask in it a little bit. We just don't want the Warriors to land in the sixth seed. We're in the three. Then we got to play you in the first round. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for the Pelicans, but that's a whole nother story. When it comes to the, the entry-level housing market, let's call it 500 grand because that's about where it is. And, you know, 400 to 600, anywhere in that range is where entry-level first-time home buyers are buying in the Sacramento area. And so I'm really close to the market. It's where I live. It's where I have personal relationships with real estate agents. It's where I attend real estate meetings, talk to real estate agents. I have my clients and my realtor partners CCing me on offers so that I can say, Local lender, full file, we close it quick. We've done our due diligence, great reputation, all the things to help them get offer accepted. So I'm really close to these offers. I get a lot of information. Escalation clause up to 515 for something that was listed for 470. Didn't get it. Um, so uh, hold on, I want to say that again. Properties listed on the MLS for 470. Your uh, buyer writes an offer with their agent at some number and says automatic escalation up to 515 and they didn't get it. And they didn't get it. Yeah. At 500 escalate to 515. Great agent, well-structured offer. I know the agent communicated with the list side. I had two conversations with the list side. Um, and you know, this is one of a dozen where I think of the dozen offers that were submitted, you know, sometimes it's, Agent didn't put together a great offer. Client wasn't willing to go to the right price. These are literal, like amazing offers that you think would get accepted in any sort of normal market. Um, it's it's a combination of a lot of things. You know, rates trickle down a little bit. Buyers are like, okay, goody, I can offer twenty thousand more at the same monthly payment price. Mm -hmm. You insert California Dream for All and some programs, and people are like, ah, oh, the state's going to give me a hundred grand towards the down payment, what's another 20 or 30 on, on my price? And so we had a weekend of great weather, dozens of people walking through houses, and I could I could pull up, if I had the time, Mike, eight to 10 emails. Thank you so much. Very well put together offer. Unfortunately, we got this number, this appraisal gap, this cash offer, whatever it is, it's bonkers. So multi multiple offers are back. Escalation clauses are back. Offer review dates are back. Waving waving this, waving that. Uh, appraisal. It's all back at the entry level home. Right, and that's and that's a great point that you make, and that you know you've said it dozens of times. Hopefully, people hear it. If you're going to buy something in Sacramento for one point five million, oh, take nuts. your time. Yeah, you've got multiple you got things to look from. You can offer a hundred thousand below. You can do yeah. you know. You and Patrick Bet David can shop all you want for big yeah, discounts. You can write disrespectful offers above 1.5. Go nuts. Right. Right. At 500, no chance. You are in a you know very competitive and that's where too I'm trying to do what I can to try to talk to clients and my real estate agent partners. How do we find the diamond in the rough? How do we find something that doesn't garner as much attention because the ones that are garnering attention, you know, listed at the right price, marketed well and you know, get three dozen people touring it, those are going to be competitive. And, you know, it's it's not the best place to be as a buyer. As a first-time home buyer, that's probably a little stretched with affordability. Like it kind of pains me. Um yeah. to... and this is my this is my fear, dude. Like we talked about in video number one. Ra again, most of these people are getting rates now 30 year money with a five on it. If we go to five and a half, do you know how bananas this is going to get? It's 
It's going to be insane. And no, so and the problem is no supply shows up. This is crazy. Yeah, it's it's exactly my fear as well, where I, I tell people like I'm rooting for affordability. I'm rooting for rates to come down. It just can't happen too fast. No. Um, I want it to stop at five, nine, five, nine. We, we can kind of get through this. But again, if they fall to five and a half. Oy. Yeah. And I mean, the 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 thing that, that might help us a little bit is, you know, if you've got perfect credit, you're sub six without paying any points. If yeah. you've got a 690, if you've got a 705, if you're putting 3% or 5% or, you know, it's not the best, then you're you're probably still in the sixes. You probably got to pay if you want to get it sub six. Um, but but still, every incremental, you know, yeah. rate drop is bringing more and more demand back. Demand is the last thing we need. We need something that takes a guy like me to say, okay, maybe I'll consider listing Selling. this yeah. entry-level property that's a rental because you're going to give me some tax incentive. You're going to do whatever something. it is to allow me to exchange into apartments or whatever it is. But as it stands right now, there's a bunch of small mom and pop investors or an average person who just moved out and said, I'm keeping that $1,900 mortgage that I locked myself into. It's 30-year fixed rate money. Why in the world... Um, would I ever sell? Yeah, exactly. All right, folks, we're going to talk about California dream. Is it a nightmare or not in the next episode? But before we do, if you want to get some of this cheap money, how do they reach out to you? Greatmortgagebroker.com. Go ahead and fill out that quick form and we'll be able to help you in 46 states. So most of them, if, if we're not licensed in the state, if it's New York, um, I'll, I'll find you the best mortgage broker in New York and I'll refer you there. Greatmortgagebroker.com. Thank you, buddy.